Hello students, and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Psychology course. Today we're going to be looking at stress and the immune system. The immune system. Research shows that stress can decrease the efficiency of the immune system. The immune system is used to protect us from disease. It's going to protect our body from pathogens. And there's two ways in which the body will do this. We can either produce phagocytes or lymphocytes. Phagocytes. A phagocyte is a white blood cell which destroys a foreign pathogen by engulfing it and then destroying it. So it looks something like this. When we have a pathogen, the pathogen can move into the phagocyte and then the phagocyte will engulf it and then destroy it. Next up is lymphocytes. A lymphocyte is a white blood cell which will produce antibodies in order to slow down a pathogen. These are proteins which slow down the pathogen's movement and can clamp it kind of acting like a clamp on a car, preventing it from moving and damaging our body. So this is what the lymphocyte will look like. We can have a pathogen inside our bloodstream and it will send off one of these antibodies in order to clamp it. Once it does this, it can't move and it's rendered useless, hence not being able to harm us at all. Then the phagocytes will move in and then engulf these now clamped uh, pathogens and then destroy them. The effect of stress on the immune system. Kaikok Glaser et al. conducted an experiment to see if the immune system can be affected by the external stress of people. In other words, this pretty much means that are people still going to be using as many white blood cells as effectively as they could if they're going to be very stressed? So they looked at phagocytes and lymphocytes, calling them K cells. They took a blood sample of 75 medical students at a university twice. The first blood sample was before their exam period, when stress levels were probably low. And the second was during their exam period, and this was when stress levels are considerably higher. They were also given a questionnaire, which then asked them how stressed they felt throughout the time of their exam period and before their exam period. They looked at levels of natural killer cells in the blood during these times. The more natural killer cells, the more efficient the immune system and these natural killer cells are lymphocytes and phagocytes. The findings of the experiment. During the exam period, students had less natural killer cells than before. In the questionnaire, those that said they were more stressed had lower levels of natural killer cells also. So this pretty much means that the more stressed you are, the less efficient your immune system is. The students could have consumed something that at the time, which could have lowered their cell counts, however, they weren't even tested for this, which is a criticism of the experiment and a point of evaluation. Also, it was a very bad sample size. They were all university students and they were all medical students. It's going to be hard to generalise these to the rest of the population because being medical students, they probably were better at dealing with stress than perhaps a 60-year-old person. The study used correlational analysis, so it was difficult to see if the exams caused the low levels of natural killer cells. Correlation just shows a relationship, it doesn't mean causation happened. Participants may have been subject to evaluation apprehension also on the questionnaire and lied, saying that they may have been less stressed during certain times and more stressed during other times, hence giving inaccurate results. Here are some questions on stress and the immune system. Have a go at answering these by pausing the video and writing them down on another sheet of paper. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these four questions right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on personality types, otherwise um, type A and type B personalities. As always, thank you so much for watching and be sure to visit www.reviseelevel.co.uk or the channel playlists in order to revise for other subjects that you may have coming up. As always, good luck in your exams and I'll see you again next time.